Missing a day in history the Bible says and what NASA confirms. He lost day. Do you think in a special NASA program in the United States recently the veracity of a fact was found in the Bible which had been considered as a myth no? Mr. Harold Hill, president of the automotive company Curtis Baltimore, Maryland and director of the NASA program, relates the following event. One of the most amazing things that God has done among us happened recently to our astronauts and NASA scientists at Greenbelt, Maryland. They were checking the position on of the sun, moon and planets to know where you would find in a hundred years and in the next thousand years. It is essential to know this to send lights into space eight and avoid colliding with something once they have entered orbit. It should project the orbit in terms of the satellite's life and know the position of the planets from destroying satellites. It made the computer run through the centuries and suddenly stopped. The computer began to give a red signal on alert that there was any error in the information that had been fed or the results to be compared with established standards. They decided to call the maintenance office for review. Technicians found that the computer was in perfect condition. The COO of IBM asked what the problem was and to his surprise the answer was, we found a missing day in the universe of time elapsed in the history he started scratching his head. Was an answer. On the computer there was a Christian who said, I once heard in a passage in the church that the sun stood still. They did not believe him, but had no answer as they said, show. He then took his Bible and read in the book of Joshua something quite ridiculous for someone with common sense. In this passage God said to Joshua, Do not be afraid, for I have given into thine hand, none of them can resist you. Joshua was concerned because the enemy had surrounded them and if getting dark, the enemy could defeat them. Joshua asked the Lord to stop the sun. And so it happened. And the Bible says, and the sun stood still and the moon stopped. And the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hurry to go down about a whole day. Space program engineers said, that is the missing day. They quickly checked on the computer backing in time to the time described in the Bible, and they found that Maba is a proxy, but it was not the exact period of time. The lapse was missing in Joshua's day was 23 hours and 20 minutes, it was not a full day. They read the Bible again and there said, about a whole day Joshua 10 13. These little words in the Bible are very important. Part of the problem had been solved. However, missing 40 minutes and this caused a big problem. If not appeared those 40 minutes, they would have large discrepancies in the spatial calculations because the minutes are multiplied many times in each orbit. This Christian recalled that there is a place in the Bible where it mentions that the sun returned. His companions told him he was crazy. However, they allowed them to show in the second book of Kings, chapter 20, 8 and 10, where the Bible tells, Hezekiah, who was about to die, he was visited by the prophet Isaiah, who said he would not die. Hezekiah did not believe and therefore called for a telling Isaiah signal, is the shadow go forward 10 degrees or go back 10 degrees? And Hezekiah said, easy thing for the shadow 10 degrees, but let the shadow return 10 degrees. Isaiah called on the Lord and the Lord made the shadow go back 10 steps it had advanced on the sundial of Ayaz. Day with God 10 degrees is exactly 40 minutes. 23 hours and 20 minutes in Joshua plus 40 minutes in 2nd Kings complete 24 hours then men's space program had to add to the story as the missing day in the universe. Definitely the Bible is not a book, for God comes back, the truth of his written on it. Does it seem strange? Is not it strange, how we believe what the newspapers say, but question what the Bible says.